What's up guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about why I think everybody who practices a martial art should compete in one form or another. Now before I get started, please like and subscribe to my channel. I pump out about five to 10 videos a week and we talk about all sorts of things here uh, related to fitness and martial arts for older dudes. Uh, and really our philosophy, my philosophy, is a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts because especially for older guys who are busier, who have families, and uh, that would help me out a lot. So, okay, let's get into it. Now, the number one reason why I think you should compete is because competing is part of your training, okay? Because when you train in a martial art, you know, um, yes, there's the, uh, the cultural aspect and, you know, as a hobby, get in shape and stuff like that, but you really wanna learn how to fight, right? That, that's, that's probably a big part of it. So for you to really uh, progress as a fighter, okay, as a martial artist, well, you have to, what some people call uh, pressure testing, I just call it sparring. Call it what you want, doesn't matter. You gotta, you gotta fight, okay? And now fighting in class is good, it's very good, but it's, I think it's not enough. It, it, it won't make you progress as fast. So competition is a tool in itself, okay? So you use this tool to sharpen your skills and to, to find out where you suck, okay? Find out your weaknesses, okay? And in competition, all of this is gonna come out. And another, another uh, benefit is that it's gonna train your, your men, the mental aspect of the game, your psychology, your fight psychology, okay? Because if, if you don't compete, you'll never really know what it feels like to be under extreme pressure. Okay, it's not just your teammate anymore that you know and that you have a couple of drinks with and he's friendly with you. It's like, no, this guy, you probably won't know him and he's there to whoop your ass. So that's kind of stressful, you know? And then there's adrenaline, you're a little bit nervous, it's official, I mean, it's just mano a mano and you have to go about it, okay? So the more you do it, the, me the better you'll be able to um, manage all this stress and all this adrenaline and that's the key thing here. So you do it until you're able to come to grips with it and you're able to, to stay calm and, and focused on, on the task at hand, which is, you know, uh, if you're in judo, you're trying to throw the guy or pin the guy. If you're um, in, in boxing, then, you know, you're, you gotta knock the guy out, you know, or score a whole bunch of points and so on, okay? So the only way to get to that level uh, is to do a lot of competitions. So you do a whole bunch of competitions and that way, the day that you're able to um, go to a competition and treat it and it doesn't even bother you, it's kind of like, okay, I'm just going there and it's, a, it's another training session and I'm just gonna go and, and test myself. It's about testing yourself, right? Seeing where you're at mentally and physically and technically. So when you get to that level and you're not even, you're not sweating anymore, you're not like, you know, then yeah, then you're good. Then you can keep doing it if you want, but I, I figure at that point, you know, um, maybe you could reduce it to one or two competitions a year. Uh, but before that, I think you should try to compete as much as possible, as much, uh, uh, I, I know it's, uh, it's time consuming, but you know, fix yourself a goal. Like if you've never done it before, then try at least uh, to fix, maybe do two competitions a year. And then gradually increase, and then as you get, you know, as you get better at it, as you find more time, then yeah, you do more. So now, another way to, to simulate this, um, if you can't go to competition, is maybe talk to your coaches and see if you could do a, a in-house competition. Oh yeah, in-house competitions are great because even though you're fighting your own teammates or maybe some guys you know from other clubs, you know, it's, it's, it's super different, okay? In the sense that like when it's just you and your opponent and everybody's watching and that's my dog whining. <laughs> okay, so if it's just you, your opponent and people watching with a referee and one person has to win and one person has to lose, you're gonna feel the pressure, you're gonna feel the stress, the adrenaline going up, and you're gonna see, like that teammate, he's gonna, he's gonna go at you, and you're gonna go at him. So even if you know each other, doesn't matter, you guys, it's still gonna simulate 
uh, very closely what it feels like to be in a competition. Maybe not 100%, but hmm, I'd say at least 70%, okay? So this is really good because if you get good at competition dealing with this stress, okay, the more you do it, the more um, desensitized you get to it, to, to, the, to the adrenaline, the nervousness, the anxiety, and, and all that that comes along with competing, the pressure. So you, you learn to deal with it. And once you learn how to deal with it, okay, I mean, you're gonna be so much more prepared if ever uh, a real life situation does happen because you've been there before. If you've been there before, you're gonna recognize the feeling and of course, a actual uh, fight in the street where you're defending and you're fighting you know, for your life, uh, so to speak. I mean, it's gonna, um, instead of being, let's say 100%, okay, it might go to, uh, the feeling might be pumped up to, let's say 150. But if you're already used to going 100%, you just have that 50% to take care of. And then all your, all your reflexes and all your muscle memory, like, Everything that you train that becomes automatic, it's gonna come out and you'll be able to, uh, to, to hopefully you ha get out of it without uh, too much damage, okay? Well, your chances increase. But imagine you never even felt this pressure at all. So imagine you get into a street altercation and the intensity goes up to like 150, you know? And this goes with the, uh, the mental aspect too and everything, the stress, the adrenaline, but you never even brought it up to fucking 50% like in training you're gonna have like a really big uh, uh, you're gonna have a much harder time and you might not be as prepared as you think you actually are and if you're delusional and and you've been training without like real sparring um that's already bad uh and if you even if you have sparred you got to remember it's not the same thing you get very comfortable in class you could be king of the mat king of your club but then in competition, you're not worth uh, shit. You're not able to, to translate it and to carry over, to express what you actually know physically, and, like in competition. So if you're not able to, to, to carry it over to a, a real situation, then what are we doing here? We're, we're, we're not, you know, it's not, it's not true. It's not pure. It's not the truth in terms of um, um, what you've been able to achieve Till this point so anyways uh, that's it for this video I went on for a little bit too long there but competition good really good and uh, if you can't do it um, if you don't have time talk to your coach talk to your club maybe they could do in-house stuff or even during a class sometimes we do that in judo uh, okay for to prepare the students okay so competition coming up all right let's simulate once in a while you know like let's simulate uh, an actual fight, you against you, and you're gonna see a guy that you've been you 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 beaten the crap out of before. All of a sudden, he ain't gonna be that easy to beat the crap out of. If the guy like uh, you know, if there's there's something at stake, and what's at stake? Well, there's a winner and a loser. Okay, and there's a, there's a ref there, uh, you know, with points and all. You're gonna see it's it's very different. So. I hope this video was uh, insightful to you guys. So don't forget to comment, okay? Ask any, any questions you want and uh, I'll get back to you and I'll, I'll keep making these videos, man. So take care, peace.